Namaskar welcome to get inspired spiritually a place to find yourself and awaken spiritually in our previous episode we learnt about different types of memory how does our mind creates the memory database how to improve our memory in this episode we are going to learn about superconscious mind different types of mind as per vedas types of ego understand how our mind remembers or creates the memory database in a detailed way from neuropsychology perspective we will learn effective techniques to remember and learn anything easily and finally we will learn about a mindful exercise to improve the photographic memory great superconscious is basically a proposition where a person or soul or atman knows everything atman can access akashic records akashic records is a huge database that contains each and every information about every soul and universes hypnotherapists can make a person access akashic records by sending him into the deep state of trance as per vedas there are five types of mind manaha this is referred to as the unconscious mind which doesn't have any rationale all it does is it sends signals about wants about likes dislikes perceptions about persons things which we sense through our five senses through the whole way of subconscious to unconscious mind this is referred to as the animal intelligence or low level intelligence number 2 buddhi or rational mind this we call as the conscious mind which has the ability to think reason analyze and come to conclusions rationally psychologists refer to this as cognitive intelligence number 3 chitta this basically represent all types of memory explained before chitta is the center of all the memory within the unconscious mind or manaha number 4 aham referred to as superficial ego superficial ego makes us realize that we exist we experience vivid experiences emotions thoughts and desires this is the reason for our existence we live on this planet by representing ourselves as something they are this physical body or consider themselves as the physical body this is superficial ego caused due to bodily affiliations bodily affiliations exist because of superficial ego chetana number 5 the soul or atman soul is superior to all of the previously explained minds rational or conscious mind is superior to unconscious and subconscious minds but the soul or atman is superior to rational mind soul can be called the superconscious mind or the source of infinite intelligence spiritual ego is an inherent ego where we understand and see ourselves as a soul or atman we realize that we are not this body we are beyond this physical existence the above knowledge leads us to understand ourselves as a soul about our past births our root incarnation and so on how the mind remembers or creates the memory database imagine you have a video recorder that records everything you see and you can retrieve it whenever you want there is no limit to the data storage with which your videos are stored this is your memory all types your mind stores or creates the memories in this way you are actually capable of remembering everything but bugs like your bias ignorance lethargy or prejudices as previously mentioned hamper your ability to retrieve the data also you remember very clearly to what you gave the highest importance to or what you record with more pixels with 100x zoom what you give more importance becomes your non erasable memory sometimes when sudden unexpected pleasurable or painful experiences are created this will be remembered for long time that's why most love pleasant surprises it lasts long so that they can reminisce it whenever they want mind also remembers through neuro associations with everything around you with everyone around you you have subconscious perceptions judgments or beliefs about everything either you perceive or eventually you believe that people are good bad favorable or unfavorable 
similarly with things sense or experiences you have pain or pleasure judgments this is the science behind the one word exercise done by psychologists to their clients mind also recalls or creates memories in the form of mental emotional and physiological states a state can be defined as the sum of millions of neurological processes happening within us the sum total of our experience at any moment in time most of our states happen without any conscious direction we see something and we respond to it by going into a state it may be use it may be a useful and a resourceful state or an unresourceful and a limiting state but there is not much that most of us do to control it tony robbins awaken the giant within you mind clearly remembers those person persons topics things in detail uh, which have special significance uh, they have created some special emotional and physiological state within our uh, neurological system you can retrieve the data or information any time also your mind clearly remembers those things or persons which or who have given you immense pain or immense pleasure actually neural pathways are created with everything and everyone with these special persons or things a neural highway is created which fire and wire certain neuron circuits of the brain your mind through brain neural pathways along with the states remember them every now and then it's like a computer algorithm running in certain patterns and the same neural pathways or highways gets activated repeatedly you develop a habit because of this that's why it's very difficult to get out of traumatic experiences which results in syndromes like ptsd that is post traumatic stress disorder although it can it can't be termed as a disorder or a disease it is syndrome a group of symptoms which consistently occur together or a condition characterized by a set of associated symptoms this is actually the dictionary definition of a syndrome however still you find sometimes difficult to retrieve or remember a person's name why because you are in a state that's not conducive to retrieve the name example you are speaking to a friend while traveling in a cab about eu i mean european union and economic crisis as a result of economic sanctions suddenly you don't remember the name of european union commissioner why because you are traveling in a cab and the state of mind and the physiology is different however if you are watching news on cnn or dw you can immediately remember the commissioner's name that's ursula von der leyen you should not judge immediately that you can't remember something understand that recalling memory or anything you want to do depends on the state of emotions and the physiology and much more another way is to repeat the thing in your mind that you want to remember or you want to learn repetition is the mother of skill tony robbins As per the recent research done by learning scientists it is found that the more you learn something by repeatedly making mistakes you remember the lesson or concept for longer periods this is very well applied in duolingo app where you can learn various foreign languages they make you do quite a lot of mistakes while learning the languages then they give you feedback thereby the app makes you remember for longer periods by deliberately allowing you to make mistakes mistakes are an important part of the learning process the more you make mistakes there's more opportunity to learn only the only quid is you must learn and shouldn't get disheartened exercises to improve photographic memory Exercise number 1 whenever you read anything try to remember the trivial aspects of what you have read example if you are studying some pages of the book try to remember on what page number this topic is explained or try to click the images in the camera linked to your brain that is your eyes Exercise number 2 take a look at the drawer of your table observe everything or identify the things that are present inside now visualize what and all are there inside based on some order front row to the back row 
uh, you have to sit in a different room and try to recollect whatever that you have seen actually while making a groceries list after practicing this exercise you should be able to list down without physically checking the things you should be able to remember my shampoo is almost empty or toothpaste is about to get over or even recall your bank balance now at least an approximate amount to conclude each person is a genius in some or the other way you need to find it and conjure it up to become successful don't believe in this unrealistic judgment that you have some concentration problem or memory issues if you really want it you get all the memory and concentration to do the things that you really want to do it that's why there is a quote in english where there is will there is a way follow the messages given in this article given in this video hope this inspires you uh please like comment share and subscribe to our channel your support means a lot to us thank you so much for watching see you soon